Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Aeon Ticket. This is a marathon for fundraising for our good buddy, Amoeba UK. Uh, Amoeba is a PSRD member and a speedrunner. Uh, it's unfortunately a recent victim of a burglary, uh, losing a lot of his speed games consoles and a lot of the setup that he uses for streaming. And uh, we're trying to help him reclaim some of the lost stuff uh, from the burglary. Um, so any donation is very much appreciated. Uh, you can use exclamation point donate for additional information on how to donate. Um, he's very thankful for this and we hope he can provide some valuable and fun speedrunning content for you to enjoy. Um, so first we have Greta Ice Vixen doing Fire Emblem Three Houses. So Greta, go ahead, take it away. Hello. So yes, I, this is what we're doing. We are here with Three Houses, our first run. I'm excited. Uh, not a lot of people run this game, so hopefully we can, you know, maybe inspire someone to run it. So yeah, let's uh, get started pretty quickly here. I know we're on a little bit of a time crunch. <laughs> so yeah, this is New Game Plus, so we are going to make our file using this one. Alright. Yeah, so when I hit no here is one time it's gonna start. If we're all good to go, I can get confirmation. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay. So let's get started in three, two, one, go. Yeah, so this is New Game Plus, and you're gonna see here, we're going to, uh, definitely take advantage of that. Does that name Byleth anything? Eh, I don't really want to hmm. type, you know? It's embarrassing. Nice. You know what, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. Let's name ourselves Amoeba. Oh no, Among came up in the <laughs> in the recommended thing. Okay, okay. Do some mashing. Do some loading. This game has quite a lot of loading screens you're gonna see, which is kind of nice for us because it means I can like take a second, you know, think, use my my brain cells, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna do pretty much like a little tutorial battle here. Get our options set. Stay focused. This fight is the same in every single run of this game. It's very easy, thankfully. Oop, didn't mean to move the camera. Yeah, so if you saw, we are, um, we're playing on normal classic difficulty, and what's what that is going to mean is that if our units die, they're going to stay dead which uh, is a little scary, but it's actually a, a useful thing in the end because we're going to be able to save a lot of time that way by killing off all of our friends. Yay! <laughs> we get to skip pretty much all of the cutscenes in this game, which is nice because there's a lot of dialogue in this game. Like, a lot. Oh, also, I saw that Etiquette uh, subbed to the channel a few minutes ago, so thanks, Etiquette! <laughs> More cutscenes... Let's see, what else can I tell you about while this is loading? Uh, if you saw, I picked uh, our female character. 
And that actually matters. We do have to pick a female Byleth or a female Amoeba, <laughs> I guess, um, because we're going to use a class that is exclusive to uh, female characters. And it is very good, so we are going to use that. I have to stop that once you. May I ask a favor of you? Now we gotta do this little quest thingy thing, you know. We're gonna look at the ground because this game loves to lag, and looking at the ground makes it lag less, so. Sorry you don't get like a scenic view of where we're going. You've had a chance to meet to talk to each of the three house leaders. Let's see if I overshoot on accident. Have you met the folks from the it's really hard to see where you're going when you do this. Please I hear you're investigating. I appreciate your effort. Now it's time to pick our house. I'm and of so, course, we're going with the best house, the Blue Lions, lions this because, I, you know, let, we will. why wouldn't we? It is really interesting, though, with uh, three different houses, and actually four routes through the game, there's a lot of different speedrun stuff you can do, and since you have different uh, characters on each route, the run's gonna look decently different on each of the routes, which is cool. So also, I do have chat open and I see your slander. <laughs> okay, so this is a really big menuing section. We're basically gonna take all of our New Game Plus perks and become overpowered. So I do have to pay attention just just a little bit. Yeah, these these skills are going to help us quite a lot. Here, try to talk to Dimitri. I think I missed him a little bit. Oh no, talking to Dudu. Sorry, Dudu. Dudu wants us to like plant seeds or something. I don't know. We're not. We're not talking to Dudu. I'm sorry. And now we're gonna run all the way over here to unlock a teleport point for later. If I can get down the stairs. There we go. <laughs> It's time for our first real battle. Except, eh, it's kind of a real battle. It's, 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 well, no, it's not. It's a mock battle, but like, it's, it's real to me. <laughs> it's real in my heart. Alright, big menu, part two. This is a sequel. Right, 
We're gonna use these two items that will boost our stats. Those were really smooth menus, actually. Kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> I'll cut through. Here goes. There we go. Ooh, that was a good level up. Yeah, we are mostly gonna be focused on our strength stat and our speed stat. It mostly doesn't matter that much, but it definitely can and hopefully it won't come to matter. Hopefully. Let's get rid of Ignots. This is not looking good. <laughs> Ignatz, please die. <laughs> Another. Okay, good. All right. The okay, we won. Yeah, so as you saw, we pretty much, like, soloed that entire fight with Bylib, and it's gonna stay that way for quite a while. Cause Bylib is good. And let me, let me tell you about, uh, some of the battalions that I equipped, because they're pretty much, well they are, they're just crucial to the run. Uh, so I equipped a mortal corpse on Bylip, which, this is, to be honest, I don't know exactly what it does, I should, probably should have thought about that, but what I can tell you is that it's really good, and you actually get it from the Golden Deer route, it's exclusive to that route, which means when you're setting up your New Game Plus file, ooh, <laughs> I need to tell you about this too, hold on. Yeah, when you're setting up your New Game Plus, you actually have to play Golden Deer as well as Blue Lions to get everything all set up. Yeah, so what happened there is Lysithia joined the party, the team, the whatever it's called, the class. And Lysithia is also from the Golden Deer house, um, but we have recruited her by setting our support level uh, to the maximum, and she has asked to join us because we're the cool teacher and everyone loves us. And Lysithia is very good. You're gonna see, we basically just get to like, literally teleport across the map with Lysithia's help. She's wonderful. She's also adorable. Yeah, it is, uh, it's random whether she joins your class or not. Uh, I guess she will eventually, but you want her to ask you, and we actually have to get that done by chapter three. So if she doesn't join by then, we would actually have to go and, like, run all the way over to her and ask her ourselves to join. And that takes a while, so glad we're not doing that. <laughs> Now this practice battle is required, so we're just going to do that really quick. Yeah, other battalions. Uh, we gave Dimitri Blue Lions Dancers, and essentially that lets you move again after you've moved once. You can use it and then keep on going, Stay focused. which is very good, as you can imagine. And then we gave Stride to Annette, which lets you move farther, which is also very good. So you'll see, we're just gonna zoom across the map. It's gonna be great. Another. These levels are crazy. My stats are so good! <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, we can. Happy birthday, Edgy! It's Edgy's birthday, and we all need to celebrate, even though I think he's probably sleeping. Well, we'll let him know. <laughs> it seems well. So this is yeah, so as you can see here, I just had to mash through a bunch of dialogue. So that's why we're going to kill all of our friends, so we don't have to do this. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but it, it's for the best. It'll be okay. Alright, so here's that gender-locked class I was telling you about. We get to fly on a pegasus! Look at us go. I can do better. I'm certain. Yeah, every time you say Echi's name, like, anywhere, it just, like, alerts him. He has, like, a, a microchip. <laughs> That's what happens. Use your power responsibly. It's time to kill everyone! Yay! <laughs> is that the one? Thank is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a is that is it the one? one? Thanks a bunch. Do you guys know? Is it is is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a come back. I think it is. Stay focused. I'll cut through. Yeah, so here we're going to use auto battle to make them all move at once, and we're just gonna have them head straight forwards in d into death. <laughs> That's what's happening. So we're just gonna sit here and wait until they all die. Pretty much. That's all we're gonna do. You must in a while. Speed this up. Here we go. Alright, everyone's dead. Yay! We have to <laughs> yeah, so if you saw, I actually took uh, Annette and Lysithia out of the party so that they would not die because we need them. But Dimitri we can't remove from the party most of the time. It uh, requires us to bring him in. So our goal is basically make sure he doesn't kill everything and protect the others. So that's why we unequipped his weapon. Woohoo. Yeah, so everyone's dead because, uh, during the month, they will- they'll ask you questions, they'll, uh, want to change the class that they're assigned to, and every time they level up in their skills, you have to sit through a little thing. Okay, we're gonna do this quest really quick and unlock the Battalion Guild so that we can buy our battalions if we need more, which we will. Yep. What do you require? Thank you. It's how- as we- as they- when that- Because otherwise, I think the battalion guild unlocks What's after that? the time skip, which is in approximately, like, 45 minutes, or less than that. Yeah, we- we kill everyone. It's kind of weird, because sometimes they still, like, appear if they're, like, part of the story.
Yeah, so this battle, we are going to zoom across the screen with the help of our friends. <laughs> You'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna zoom. There's also fog on this map, but I know where everything is located, so it doesn't really matter. I'll cut through. Yeah, so now we get to move again. So if you saw Ash talking there, uh, Ash is gone. <laughs> Apparently he's with us in our in our hearts, but you know. Yeah, so pretty much from this point on, we are just going to skip straight to the end of the month where our our battle is. So, you know, it's a lot of the same, but the battles are fun, so. There's, yeah, there's quite a lot of loading, <laughs> as you probably already started to realize. Which, speaking of, let me tell you about this. Um, most likely you didn't see, so trust me on this one. <laughs> but when I made my New Game Plus file, you might have seen, probably didn't see, the, the file I used is actually saved at um, not the completed game. It's saved right before the game completes. Um, so on the menu, it would say after battle is like the place it's saved at. And what that does is it actually changes the loading screen. So instead of the loading screen it typically is where you have like Byleth running across the bottom and there's like a little bar and if you move the controller, it'll like move Byleth. Instead of that, we have the Crest of Flames, which is that purple thing right here. And that actually loads the game significantly faster. And it only works if you uh, save your file at after battle. It's really weird, actually. But yeah, uh, typically with the other loading screen, the game has to like register that the, the loading bar is done. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous, but fair enough. So, removing the time it takes to register. Like, oh, we have to we have to Stay keep focused. going now, the, the load is over. Removing that actually saves quite a bit of time. Which is good, because this game already has way too many loads on its own. You don't need to make them longer. If we have a minute, I do have a donation to read. Sounds good. All right, we have five dollars from the Waffle Man saying five dollars in support of Amoeba. Let's hit the blindfolded Roxanne incentive because it is pure content. Um, <laughs> so with that, I want to remind everyone that we are donating for uh, Amoeba's burglar relief. Um, with your donation, we have a lot of incentives um, that you can donate towards. Uh, one of the most upcoming incentives is uh, for our next run. Let's go Pikachu Baton Pass. Uh, so please get your donations in um, and put it towards an incentive. Yes. Thank you, Waffle Man. Yeah, if you saw there, uh, we now have the Sword of the Creator, which, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the sword from, from Smash Ultimate! <laughs> It's that's the one. Yeah, it uh, is good. We're gonna use it a little bit. I'm a also, sorry if you hear my dog start barking like soon. I think they're having their breakfast soon.
Yeah, sometimes one of my dogs will uh, will come up the stairs and start scratching on my door. <laughs> Wait, she literally just came up the stairs. I can hear her. <laughs> we'll see if we get a guest appearance. Thanks. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. Yeah, so now if we teleport over this wall that you're not allowed to teleport over. See how it says terrain that cannot be crossed? We, we just crossed it. Get absolutely destroyed. Oh my. Yeah, so now he's a monster. It's scary. I'm 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 really scared. I don't you guys might want to cover your eyes for this one. Yeah, so the annoying thing about monsters is, whoops, is that they have multiple bars of health. And that is why we gave Lysithia the dance gambit. So now we can move even more than we were able to before with just Dimitri. Apologies. There we go. There's some weird noises happening in my house. <laughs> oh, this is one of the cutscenes that we're not allowed to skip. So we get to mash. And those dialogue options, some of them at least, they, uh... If you pick the one that the person you're talking to likes, it'll give you support points with them. And that has like a little pop-up, which takes time, so we want to avoid that if we can and choose the option that they... Not that they won't like, but the one that they won't especially care about, I guess. Because if you pick one they don't like, it'll actually lose uh, support points, and that also pops up on the screen. <laughs> my dog is at my door. Hi, Candy! I can't let you in right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's, like, sniffed at my door. <laughs> As It's all coming to it's all got it. There's multiple dogs. I hear all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I have three dogs. <laughs> that night. So for this battle, it actually takes away uh, Dimitri. We don't get to use him, but it doesn't actually matter because we're just gonna teleport over this wall. You know? Just casual, teleport over the wall. <laughs> Just do that really quick. <laughs> yeah, so some of these battles end up being very fast. This next battle, maybe not so much. Uh, hopefully. This is another cutscene that I can't skip. Yes. Her kit and help and even rather. I think it's the last one that I can't skip. See so yeah, how we pick the other option, and then we're gonna pick the other option again. There we go. And now that uh, the little the little green girl, <laughs> uh, Flane, has joined our team, and we're actually gonna keep her around. And we will give her stride as well.
is talking to me? It's Flame. Flame's talking to me. Flame's talking to me again. <laughs> He understands more every day. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so yeah, this battle can be a little bit complicated. Hopefully it won't be, but you know. Can never be too hopeful with a speedrun. Yeah, you'll see here there are quite a lot of enemies on the map. And since they're all AI, what can end up happening is they decide to go crazy. And do weird things. Uh, watch the cutscene. You gotta watch the game lag a little. <laughs> no one saw that. Quite Stay focused. Oh, I think I realized the issue that I had the other day. Okay. So yeah, we're going to uh, lure over some of these people. That's why we're just gonna like sit here and it's gonna seem weird. We're actually luring all those people over. I'm not... And we're going to auto combat, just so everybody moves to where we want them to be. Because doing it manually is kind of annoying. Thank you. Here goes. You can see Hilda on the screen. Be mindful. There she goes. Sorry, Hilda. You must... I'm now. dying and I'm kind of worried about that. Hopefully I don't die! <laughs> Please don't die. Please don't die. You must... That was a good level up. Didn't die. I'm gonna actually go on this heal tile. This should help. Just kidding, it didn't help. Okay, that's fine. Careful now. Uh let's do this. See, usually you don't die here, but you know how this game is. You just sometimes things don't go as planned. I should have stayed on the heel tile. This might be okay. It's barely okay. I can curved shot from here. No, I can't. I don't know why I can't. Is Linhart gonna kill me? I'm just gonna go here. This is gonna have to be slow. Yeah, this fight can really vary. This is why it's kind of annoying. I'm not. That is. All right, we made it through. No, Petra wasn't gonna kill me no matter what there. She had 32 health and I was hitting at 33 and I went first and my accuracy was 100, so I was good there. That's why I looked. We have a minute, we have another donation. All right. 
We have $10 from Anonymous saying, in honor of a birthday today, and that donation went to naming the trainer for the Let's Go Pikachu Baton Pass run, Etchy. <laughs> Thank you from Anonymous. So please uh, get your donations in. You can use exclamation point donate. Um, the two upcoming incentives for the next run are naming the rival and naming the trainer. So uh, if you want, go ahead and donate towards those incentives. Yes, get those in. All right, lucky for us, this battle is less complicated than the last one. I understand. I do need to uh, get my bow back. Because I had to put the the vulnerary in my inventory. Eating my input moment. Here goes. Let us away. Oh, you actually have to move Lysithia into this little corner, otherwise she will die on this turn. Let me get my bow back. I know you might be thinking your bow has one durability. Why do you want it? But um, the reason I want it actually is because after the time skip it will uh the durability will get back to full ah. Another. my level ups have been crazy i'm so impressed <laughs> Here you will, uh, whoops. Here you'll see, uh, if you saw at the beginning, I set my birthday to December 1st. And the reason I did that is because, uh, Violet actually has, like, a little thing that pops up when it's their birthday. And there's a decent amount of dates in the game that show up more than once. So we want to minimize the amount of times we're seeing that, uh, little pop-up thing and December 1st is very easy to menu to and it only shows up once so it's not too bad it's cutscene land let me take a drink while I'm here I almost choked on my drink. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> I've been reminded of, <laughs> of a, a funny moment. <laughs> a haha -ha funny moment. Uh, it doesn't really matter why I put her. Let us away. I have never choked in a video Apologies. game ever. I don't know you what you're even trying to insinuate. I do not mean to do that. <laughs> that wasn't a choke, I don't know. <laughs> it's 
stay focused. That was, that was normal. Everything's fine. Yeah, so the Brave Bow actually is more effective against uh, monsters. So that's why we're gonna use it. It is good. Decently smoothly. that way, but I did. <laughs> Look who's here. The birthday boy. <laughs> Hello, actually, everyone say happy birthday. Okay, thanks. Also, happy birthday. <laughs> Now that uh, Etchies is in chat, oh, uh, I have a donation so to read. Uh, we have $25 from Eminem. It says, don't let this woman's propaganda fool you. Black Eagle is <laughs> the best house. <laughs> that $25 goes towards naming the rival for the Baton Pass speed run, Etchie. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Etchie. <laughs> nice. Dimitri is here, you're right. Here goes. Let us away. Quite up. Stay focused. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. We're actually not doing anything with Dimitri. <laughs> not right now. Oh, oh my. Her I'm gonna pretend I didn't read that. I'm just gonna be here with my little cutscenes. <laughs> Minding my own business. Alright, gotta make the joke that is made in every single, uh, anything you do with this game. And that is that Violet dyed their hair green. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good look. Kind of like it. So here is one of the instances where if you forget to do something, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> but I'm not going to forget because I'm telling you right now. <laughs> That's totally how it works. I'll totally remember. Yeah, uh, right there. Or right, right here, <laughs> actually. Uh, my class gets changed off of the Pegasus. 
and we need that so we gotta change it back uh, in a second here well worth Wow, the PSR diversity is in the chat. I'm, I'm your biggest fan. C can you notice me? <laughs> yes, please, please donate. For our friend Amoeba. All right, I'm not forgetting. This is me not forgetting. You see this? It's time. That was me not forgetting. <laughs> I will. Here goes. <laughs> Let us away. Much needed. Stay focused. Leave it to me. You are. Right here is a cutscene that I wish we weren't skipping because it is crazy. <laughs> Oh yeah, so right here uh, is when Sedith joins the team. Sedith is cool, and we're gonna use him. Yeah, Sedith actually ends up being, like, really important to the run. You'll, you'll hopefully not see, but <laughs> that can sometimes be to our, to our detriment, I guess you could call it. Oh, and I haven't mentioned, uh, but you might have seen me swapping around where my units are located before the battle even starts. And there, there can be a decent amount of reasons for that, but most of the time it's like this person needs to be closer to the other people. <laughs> but it's interesting actually, because uh, other than Violet and Dimitri, it's actually not uh, determined the Stay same focused. every single time where each unit is located. So that means for me, I might have Lysithia next to Byleth, but for someone else, Flane might be next to Violet. So for routing, you have to take that into account. Everybody's game is going to be different. Uh, but luckily with Violet and Dimitri always in the same spot, Report. for the most part, you can kind of lean off of them and figure out where other people need to be in relation to them so that it works out the same. It's really weird though, I don't know, I don't know how it determines that. Crap, there was a bunch of cutscenes here. Yeah, so now, uh, what has happened in the story 
is we are five years in the future now. It's been five years since that battle we just did, which is why Dimitri looks like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, with the time skip that will repair our weapons, like I mentioned, it also puts everybody up to level 20 if they weren't already at level 20. And yeah, everybody gets new designs. It's great. Yeah, so this battle is only Byleth and Dimitri. What's my strategy? And you'll see, pretty much from this point on, we're actually gonna use Dimitri a lot more than we were before. Because he is very strong. Here's a fun fact for you, um, if you saw that guy Pilardo, I think it's it's supposed to be his twin brother, it's like some kind of weird joke, but um, if you saw he went up there, he can actually go down through this area, and it is completely random where he goes, and it doesn't matter where he goes really, but just, just a little, little weird thing. We have a $25 donation from Tenerps saying, Let's go memes! Hope you get back on your feet soon. So thank you for the donation. Thank you. Alright, so this chapter has another thing where if I forget, it'll be bad, so we're not gonna forget. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh... As you know, I picked female Byleth so that I can ride around on a pony. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that is, I think it's level 10 or level 15 that you unlock that. So it's really good early on. But, um, at level 20 for everyone else, uh, you can certify as a wyvern rider, which gives you a cool dragon to ride on. So now that Dimitri has been put to level 20, we got him on a wyvern. And he will zoom across the screen just like Violet has been. Which is very good. Professor, I and something else to mention too, actually is we have obtained our final new uh, team member in Gilbert. Gilbert, we also are gonna keep around. He's not the most useful, but you know, he's good enough. <laughs> Give Gilbert this battalion, and then there we go. Report. What's my strategy? All you. Let's make this quick. My orders. You also might be noticing, uh, ever since the last map, the music has changed to a song that I adore. It is very good. Injury 
costs me nothing. Yeah, so here I uh, dismounted my wyvern. And the reason for that is we don't want Dimitri to die. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of enemies attacking him right now. And a lot of them are using bows. And bows actually are really good against flying units. So dismounting gets rid of that extra advantage. Oh, that's cringe. I also did not mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened to me before. That's fine though. So at the beginning, I gave Dimitri uh, elixirs for safety. They heal you, uh, is it 99 HP? It's enough where you will always get to full health if you use it. So, glad we have that for safety. Normally that doesn't happen though. Just one of those things. I should have looked at my stats, but I think they're quite good, so I think we're okay. Hopefully. Yeah, around this part of the game is where it likes to start really lagging. <laughs> but it's it's trying its best. Yeah, so here you'll see what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reclass Byleth back to uh, Enlightened One and Sedith to Cavalier. He's currently on a Wyvern, but he actually comes with a uh, Cavalier already certified. And the reason we're gonna do that is because flying units can't use the Dance Battalion, and we need uh, a bunch of dancers for this map. I'm... If it been... Uh, there we go. Yeah, so we're pretty much just going to like stride dance chain across the entire map here. My orders. Whoops. There we go. I'm your girl. This is gonna. This might not work. Oh, okay. I think it's still. I hope. What's my strategy? No, it's gonna be okay. We're good. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's gonna work right there. Yeah, so it's that easy. Just send Dimitri flying across the whole map. For the good luck, I hopefully won't need it in a second. 
This next map is a uh, quite the complex one. Yeah, you'll see there's uh there's a lot of menuing for this next battle. And there's also the issue that there are there's four uh, enemies that we have to kill and they're all like spread across the map so we're going to use Dimitri to kill two of them, uh, Byleth to kill one of them, and then Sedith to kill the other. And depending on our stats and also just pure luck, <laughs> we can uh, have that go not so smoothly. <laughs> but everything's gonna be fine, right? Right? Perfect. That'll be fine. There is all well worth some new Alrighty. I've been thinking about how to optimize these menus, mostly like what should you do in what order, but uh, I haven't figured it out. <laughs> I think I know what I want to do though. I've set. This will uh, okay, we're good. We're gonna give Dimitri these stat boosting items. Good, we're all good. Yes. Attack. My orders. Wait. Onward. Well done. I'm your girl. I'll comply. What's my strategy? Guide me well. All right, you're in position. Well, let me actually do this first. You got this. You don't got this. Yeah, so that's the problem that you can run into where Sedith just is bad and then you're sad about it. <laughs> but uh, when we go back in time here, we can actually change the RNG by doing different things. And it worked, see? I'll comply. And Dimitri will always kill here. Dimitri is too good. It's a
Eddie. These, uh, these final few maps can be interesting because some of them are like pretty complex and then some of them are like the easiest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I like the easy ones. <laughs> Oh no, I have that like need to sneeze, but you're not going to sneeze feeling. <laughs> So something cool about this uh, this map is we're going to prior position our units like that, and then let me not forget to do this. And then all we're gonna have to do here is move Byleth and Dimitri, and then we can auto battle unite, strategy. and it will let me do this first. It will put everyone exactly where I want them to be, which saves me a lot of time because I don't want to move all those people. <laughs> I'll comply. Yeah, so we put them there, and then unite, and they all go exactly where I want them to go. It's perfect. I'm your girl. My orders. <laughs> I'm grateful. Guide me well. Oh, <laughs> went wild there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Well done. Yeah. I can't. Nice and easy. We're not exploring. <laughs> Battle is okay. nice and easy. Very well. I guess 
It can be a problem if your stats aren't good. I've definitely seen bad things happen, but bad things aren't gonna happen. <laughs> I've decided. Uh, here's Cornelia. She, she sure is a character. Leave it to me. That's all I have to say. Let's make this quick. My strength is a little bit low. That's kind of concerning. This should be fine though. There's like a bare minimum, and I've hit that, so it should be okay. That worked out well. Hopefully, this well worth always some. Getting close to the end. It's so sad. <laughs> this game's actually pretty short. When you uh when you look at like a regular playthrough of the game and then you look at the speedrun, it's like wow. This is actually short. There's quite a lot of like cutscene stuff, so that's probably why. We're just zooming past all of that. Thanks for that. What's my strategy? Ah. Leave it to me. I Let's make this quick. Oh, that's the joke that May was making. <laughs> Guide me well. <laughs> you would do <laughs> oh. I see what's happening now. See, I want to know what the timer says. It says, oh, it's. I think it's actually like properly fixed. That's good. 
Yeah, it looks like it didn't like pause, pause. It just like paused on the screen. So that's good. The timer should still be right. Thank you, bot. Sounds like a pasta sauce. <laughs> I like this battle, it's cool. What should we talk about while this is loading? You know what? <laughs> Here's my- here, let me tell you about my plan for after this run. <laughs> after this run, I'm gonna get some cinnamon rolls from downstairs, and I'm gonna eat them during commentary. <laughs> I mean, what? I'm a professional, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> my orders? I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm your girl. Okay, so let's set everybody up here. That helps. Oh, Let's make this quick. This. What's my strategy? Leave it to me. Guide me well. Yeah, I'm actually on commentary for the next run, so I'm you'll see me again in in a little bit. I hope I hope you like me, cause. <laughs> Because if, if not, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for that. No one's allowed to not like Greta. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you so much for the raid, everyone coming in. Uh, this is Holy Aeon Ticket. It is a charity yeah. event for our beloved com uh, community member, Amoeba UK. Um, who is a recent victim of a burglary, losing a lot of speed games, consoles, and stream setup. Um, so this is uh, an event for donations to help reclaim some of the lost items, and he's very thankful for anyone donating. So uh, please, if you have the time and the opportunity, uh, donate to this wonderful cause. Um, welcome everyone in. We are in the end of our first speed run of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes, hello, hello. Yeah, so we're actually on the second to last chapter. It's very sad, it's almost over, but if things go bad, maybe it's not almost over. Uh, these, these last two can be a little, uh... <laughs> I really like uh, my notes for this. Uh, each of the chapters at the top, it'll say chapter whatever, and then tell you all the stuff you have to do. And this one, chapter 21, said it must survive. It's, it's like, I just like it. It's, it's an interesting title. But yes, said it must survive. What that means is uh, we're going to be using said it here and basically throwing him into the fray. And if he dies, we're kind of screwed. So uh, we're not gonna let him die. But it's kind of out of our control. <laughs> but you know, it'll be it'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. 
So yeah, basically what we're gonna do here is beef him up as much as we can in hopes that nothing bad happens. Let's make this quick. Two come, my orders. What's my strategy? I'm Alright. Leave it to me. You have to make sure he... Guide me well. He can actually die there if you leave him. He usually won't, but it's not a it's not a risk you should really take. Alright. Sedith, please survive! Please! Please! Yay! Okay. So now here's the other problem. Um, our dear friend Hubert here is standing on a tile that gives him extra avoidance. I think it's plus 20. Um, which makes it a lot less likely for us to hit him and kill him. If you saw, I think it was 85%. Uh, percent. But luckily we got it, so we're good. We're good to go. And head into the final battle. So exciting. <laughs> I don't sound excited, but I'm excited. This battle also has a really good uh, song called Apex of the World, and it's very good, and that's the story. But in, in sad enough. news, <laughs> uh, on this battle, all of our dear friends that we've taken on this journey with us for the past hour and 21 minutes and 7 seconds, <laughs> we are going to kill them all. They're all going to die. All of them. <laughs> It's really sad, but it has to be this way. Uh, why am I many in this bag? I've set. Let me store this. Give myself the shield. Give myself this. We're going to use our uh, stat boosters. We're going to buy uh, an elixir for Violet for safety. Yeah, 99 HP. Which is very good. Alright. Onward. Much needed. Leave it to me. Guide me well. Let's make this quick. Quite helpful. I'm your girl. Thanks for that. My orders. Just take a second just to read a quick donation. Um, we are at $69 <laughs> courtesy oh, of Jordan97 who donated $3 and said, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, so here we're going to do our final pass through a wall that you're not supposed to be able to pass through. You know, you just gotta get one more in for, for good luck. And then uh, our boss, uh, Edelgard, here has multiple health bars, so we're pretty much just gonna sit around until she dies, and that is sadly when all of our friends are going to die as well. Here they all go. But um, we do have to keep Byleth alive because uh, it's part of the win condition. If if Byleth or Dimitri die, uh, we lose. So we're not gonna let that happen. There 
here they go. I'm... Yeah, so with Violet here, we're pretty much just gonna run for our life. <laughs> And uh, we're ready on time here in a second. It will end after the, the game fades to black. I might be screwed here though, we'll find out. But yeah, it'll say stage clear and then it'll fade to black soon after. All right. I will tell you when time ends here. Right about... There. Yay! <laughs> yeah, lucky for us, uh, with all our, our technical issues, my uh, my estimate was actually pretty high. I'm not I'm not that bad at this game, so <laughs> we kind of made up our lost time. <laughs> But yeah, that's- that's three houses! The chat is being spammed with happy birthday, Eshi. I agree. Thank you for the GGs. Yeah, this run went, uh, surprisingly well. Uh, I don't think too many awful things happened. <laughs> Which we always love to see, so... <laughs> Ooh, sick end cutscene there. <laughs> All right, GG Greta. Uh, this is just our first run in the event. Uh, everyone stay tuned. Upcoming next is New Amber's run of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Baton Pass. Uh, we do have two incentives or bids coming up for that to name the rival and trainer. Currently, both are set at Etchy. So if you want to snipe, please get in a donation in. But in the meantime, hang tight and uh, we'll have the next run up and going soon. I have been Groucho, and this was Greta's run of Fire Emblem <laughs> Three Houses. Everyone, yes, thank you. <laughs>